The PAW system consists of a base unit with a robotic tool change, which can select various tools from a changeover, a diluter tool, a 1ml syringe tool, a 100 microliter syringe tool and a syringe tool with lure lock connection to increase laboratory productivity. Furthermore, the system includes an ultrasonic bath, a sample rack, a block for syringes as well as for syringes with membrane filter, a wash station and a sample injection valve for LC. The entire procedure lasts 20 minutes and is presented significantly shortened. Addition of solvents and extraction in ultrasonic bath. First, the diluter tool runs to the wash station to flush the line free of air bubbles. Then the tool dispenses 10 ml solvent to the sample in a 20 ml vial. The diluter tool opens the cover of the ultrasonic bath and puts in the sample bar. The ultrasonic bath is turned on. Meanwhile, the tools are exchanged. The 1 ml syringe tool is required to transport the 2 ml sample bars. After the set sonic time is done, a 2 ml sample valve, which is to receive the extract, is also placed into the ultrasonic bath. Transferring an aliquot of extract after membrane filtration into 2 ml sample var. The var with the extracted sample is under pressure that must be removed before filtration. For this purpose, the pawl arm changes from the 1 ml syringe tool to the general syringe tool with rear lock connection and takes out a syringe needle from the material tray. The syringe pierces through the openings of the ultrasonic bath cover into the headspace for the 20 ml sample vial and eliminates excess pressure by refilling the syringe. The liquid tool moves the syringe back to the material tray and gets a needle with an integrated membrane filter. Part of the extract from the 20 ml sample vial, that is still in the ultrasonic bath, is drawn through this filter. Afterwards, the syringe needle with the membrane filter is disposed into a waste container. The liquid tool now takes back the syringe needle that was already used for eliminating the pressure from the sample and ejects a defined amount of the extract which is still contained inside the syringe into the 2 ml extract vial situated in the ultrasonic bath. Afterwards the syringe is flushed at the wash station with two solvents and the syringe needle is disposed into the waste container. The syringe tool is exchanged for the diluter tool to return the 20 ml sample vial from the ultrasonic bath to its home position. After the switch to the 1 ml syringe tool, the 2 ml extract vial with solenoid cap is returned to its home position. Extract dilution. The syringe tool is flushed with solvents at the wash station, then 10 microliter of the extract from the extract vial with solenoid cap are transferred into the sample vial for dilution. Solvents are drawn into the syringe for dilution and also injected into the sample vial. The syringe is filled with solvent for dilution.
This is then injected into the sample pipe. The procedure is finished by flushing the syringe with solvents. Sample injection into the LC system. For injection, the 100 microliter syringe is pre-purged with the sample and the sample valve is filled. The pole then waits for the ready signal of the LC and injects the sample into the LC system. After the last step in the cleaning stage, the injection syringe moves its arm back into the home position and waits for the next run.